signal around the globe. Direct from New York City. New York City. It's Brad Blanks. Brad Blanks here in New York City on the red carpet, Wall Street 2. Money never sleeps. The movie stars Michael Douglas and Shia LaBeouf. And it's directed once again by Oliver Stone. Someone reminded me I once said, greed is good. Now it seems it's legal. No matter how much money you make, Mr. Gecko, you'll never be rich. Why don't you start calling me Gordon? Hello, Shia. How are you, mate? Good to see you, mate. Hey, Brad. How are you? Now, mate, in, uh, in this, when you first saw for your research Wall Street 1, what did you think of Gordon Gecko? And also, is he a good role model? Gordon Gecko's like Billy the Kid or Jake LaMotta. He's, uh, he's a cockroach, but he's sexy as hell. <laughs> yeah, what, role model? Not a role. I mean, it depends on what you're after, you know. For a lot of these guys on Wall Street that I met, he was a role model. He was not only a role model, he was the impetus for their entire career choice. Uh, he is their Superman. He's their superhero. Uh, and um, for me, that was a nice bargaining chip walking into George Soros' office. Like, hey, uh, you know, hook me up with some info and I'll hook you up with Superman. How does Gordon Gecko fit into the 21st century? Well, he's, uh, what he did in the 1980s was adopted by the banks in the 2000s, and the banks did it on a much bigger scale. So uh, I think we're talking about really bad behavior, and, but done in a megalothic way, like billions were involved. And, well, Gecko represents two things in the movie. He's both good and he's bad. You know, there's two th types of things. He, he has a daughter, he wants to be a good father and all that, and a grandfather, but we'll see what happens, you know, if he's got the old greed back. So what about money, Jake? You like her? Do I like her? Yeah. I've never, I've never thought about money as a she. Oh, she lies there in bed at night with you, looking at you when I open, money never sleeps. And she's jealous. And if you don't pay close, close attention, you wake up in the morning, she might be gone forever. You can make money in this game if you're smart. No, you, you know, you gotta, you, I mean, mom and pop got no shot in hell, I think. Um, because they get the information three days late. You read the Wall Street Journal, that info is traded and it's already passed. By the time you're reading it in the paper, the profit's already been made and you're the loser. Um, you know, if you think you're gonna sit home and watch Jim Cramer and start making millions, you're, you're off. Uh, it's not set up that way. Casino's made for the casino to win. And uh, basically, you got guys on Wall Street who got these quantitative machines move at lightning speed. No mom and pop in Nebraska has a quantitative machine. Uh, Poor mom and pop. Mom and pop, you know, uh, average investors. Yeah, I'm sorry for them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough, but again, the American dream, right? <laughs> Gordon Gecko was one of the biggest names on Wall Street before he went to prison for insider trading. That name doesn't mean anything anymore. If it weren't for people who took risks, where would we be in this world? You might want to wipe something drool off your face. Did you also say this is a love story? I would say it's more a love story than anything. I think, you know, a la the first film, it's a very human movie. You don't got to be an economist to enjoy it, and I don't think this is any different. Good man, good to see you, mate. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, Shia LaBeouf, he's a cowboy, and it's a love story. Wall Street 2, an eventful red carpet. Brad Blanks, New York City.